Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to play next. Now we've finished on a Musha. Uh, I still haven't managed to have a proper day of recording. He's had a friend come over today. And we decided to have a Monty Python um, day, which was, well, something i i uh never thought i would say but uh first time ever i watched some of the monty python flying circus i've obviously seen the films before but the flying circus is all new to me and uh, uh it's a thing it's definitely a thing um anyway what are we doing here well i thought as i've invested in this modified xbox uh, let's have a little look. And as I was looking, one game in particular caught my mind. Now, obviously, this is not the standard uh, screen that you'd see if you turn on an Xbox, but this is nicely modified. Uh, I have a selection of games on here already. Uh, what couple? Um, not my complete collection, because my God, it takes a while to put games on this thing. But. Uh, yeah, Got a couple of games on here to get us started. I have at least another four times this amount ready to go on. Um, now, where is it? Raises Hell caught my mind. Or oh, caught my mind? Oh, I need to keep off the ale. Um, although, scratch that. Ah, I need to drink more ale, maybe. Raises Hell. Um, this was a game that I had actually completely forgotten about. Uh, a game that I actually wanted to play way back in the day. Uh, and a game that uh, only actually came out on the original Xbox. It was never re-released. So I'm going into this completely blind. I, I know roughly what the game is about uh we play some dark not necessarily evil race but like a dark grizzly um race of of tribal beings in a very dark nightmarish world and as far as i know that world gets invaded by cuddly cutesy creatures that are trying to color the place in and um beautify and take over the planet or something now this game really did catch my mind uh, i did have a quick look and see if there were any let's plays uh on youtube of this game and by a quick look i mean a really quick look it took about 10 minutes of searching and i didn't find any let's plays of this game uh, I'm not saying they're not there, but there's obviously not many, if any. And um, so I thought, oh, this game must be crap then. Uh, maybe it's just like a, a pretty poor, you know, poor game. Uh, looked up the reviews and stuff of it. Apparently, it's quite good. So anyway, let's have a look at Razor's Hell. Um, well, let's play Razor's Hell. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. Because I have no idea. Don't know much about the company that made this game either. Might be worth me jacking my headset in. Yeah, so 2005. So it was a late uh, Xbox exclusive then. Because, of course, the Xbox 360 came out in 2005 right at the end november i believe uh so we have raise 001 which is when i actually had a quick look to check the game out oh god this is so weird to see this uh oh we've got mini games settings name yeah let's uh i don't know put this in yeah so this is weird going back to this the uh, original xbox kind of like system UI for naming profiles is, is kind of, <laughs> oh man, going back to this is so nostalgic. Like every game had this. Let's just say, I don't know. Yeah, there are no shortcuts on the controller for 
uh, caps lock or any of that funky jazz that we're so used to these days so let's go for Titan uh, how do we go done there we go controller uh, I'm sure we'll probably be fine difficulty I guess so we've got cakewalk these are the enemies that we're fighting apparently uh, cool so we've got prepare for a fight and expect to die as I have no idea what the hell we're doing or what even this, how this game even plays we're gonna go with uh, uh, with 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 standard normal difficulty. So mission select birth of the resume your save game. We don't have a save game though, do we? Current level birth of the I literally just made this profile in front of everybody. Why is it saying continue save game? Unless that's just how this game goes. So that's what we are. Once upon a time, there were a race of creatures called Culets. Culets were Culets. a bunch, all bright and shiny. The Culets thought they had the perfect society, and it was hard to argue the point. They had wealth and privilege, and sheer overwhelming numbers. Then, one day, the fair princess who ruled over this kingdom made a surprising announcement to her subjects. I have decided that it is our solemn duty to bring our infinite bounty to those less fortunate than us. Let us go forth then and spread our message to the ignorant, to the primitive, to the <coughs> ugly. I say to you, fear not, you will be saved. <laughs> okay. Let's go spread some privilege, shall we? Some getting used to, but eventually they became downright militant about it. Oh dear. And that's when the problem started. It's another per per perfect day in fabulous Utopia. Skies are sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Chance of rain? I don't think so. What's happening in news, Max? Well, Maya, Operation Fresh Oak, the expansion into the provinces, couldn't be going any better. Negotiators are on the scene working out all the details. <laughs> what the fuck? Local residents seem overjoyed by our boys' arrival. Everything is as light as rain. Oh, sorry, I know you don't like that expression, Maya. <laughs> Max. In fact, a spokesman for the princess says that acceptance of the new regime is sitting at about 99.9%. .9%. Why is there always the odd bad apple, Max? I don't know, Maya, but you're right. There's always a malcontent. Raze was his name. When he returned to his village to find it being saved, all he could do was stand there in shock and awe. Surprised and frightened, he looked okay. first to the heavens. But there was no help there. Powerless to defend himself, he turned and fled. Desperate for a place to hide. Well, I like the art style. It's kind of interesting. Use the left thumbstick to move. Light pressure to walk, more pressure to run. Very standard. Um, yeah, you can... Fearing capture. Raise oh, into shit. The you can definitely tell this is a uh, Xbox game because hey, it's quite pretty. Yeah. Alright, well, fuck you guys. Let's get out of here. Looks like our town is being... Saved. Well, let's see what we can do about that. This is not good. Surrounded, he ran deeper into the forest. Come back! Trust us. This will only hurt for a minute. <laughs> only hurt for a minute. So by saving us, they're slaughtering us. Oh shit! This is dark. This is like really dark. Okay. Oh no, we're inverted too. Ah, oh, that's savage. Not having that, no. There we go. It's better. I can play both ways, but I just, I don't like inverted. Not unless I have to use it. 
Ooh, hello. So this then. Let's go fondle this blue ball. By some quirk of fate, he stumbled into a cave that held an ancient artifact with very special powers. Powers that had no effect on most. Getting an Abe's Odyssey almost vibe. But Okay, that's cool. You've been like mutated or something. How you doing? Whoa, easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Not that I could on the uh, keeper. I've been waiting a long time for you to come along. Look at you, quite the change. Huh? So we've got like a sword for an arm. So, you want me to show you how to get a little payback? Yes, please. Revenge is a Ooh. Good thing. Yes. Revenge is always a good thing. Come here. Oh. So I knifed him in the back. That was pretty savage. That was fun. Right. Come to me, worm. Let's show these bastards how we do it. Wherever the hell we are. Okay. The f I mean, what are these guys? Oh, we can actually tear them to pieces. Oh, that's satisfying. Hello, friend. Ooh. <laughs> oh, ooh, I like. I like it. All right. Tell me your words, wise thing. I'm just picking on you because you're alone. No, I'm picking on you because you're cute and cuddly and deserve to die. Uh, yes. Can I have a gun, please? A big one that shoots like boiling hot plasma. Perfect for singeing and melting flesh. Yeah, the game runs at a pretty nice frame rate as well. I uh, don't know anything. I don't know if there's like collectibles to get or anything really. I'm not sure if it's like a linear game. I guess it's some sort of linear game. I guess we'll find out together as we progress. Interesting. Alright. I think we can handle that. Oh, God. I have some skills of my own. I can mark the way for you. Show you where to go. See it in your mind's eye. Eh, sounds useful. Checkpoint saved. Alright, so these plants here, can we like, like do anything with these? So we've got a map. Plants have a power. Step on them. Alright, so that's just the synopsis of what's already been said. Uh, white and black buttons don't do anything. Alright, well maybe we're going to get some more stuff along the way. Alright. So we've got some beasts. Oh, these look interesting. Giant blue Your people pods. Have long squibs. As food. squibs. Some, and you'll learn their true purpose. Uh, okay. Right, melee, squib tree. Oh, that went a little bit too fast. Right, so we Pick them up by clicking the stick in. Oh, we can hold the clip, uh, the stick in. All right, a little bit strange, but sure, I guess. Can you feel their power? Oh, right trigger spit squibs. Fret cool will indicate overheating. Overheating. Now, you can spit death. <clears throat> now we can spit death. Well, that's rather fantastic. Yes, you see your own death. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> yes, how does it feel, worm? Oh, they do do this. We do this with extreme prejudice. Okay, so that blue bar there is our ammo. Interesting. Feels good, eh? Yeah. You've been weakened by the battle. No problem. To regain your strength, simply inhale the giblets of dead giblets. What? Hey, that rhymes. It's gross, but it's certainly effective. So we can just, like... Eat their guts. Nice. Back in the village. Or lead the way. You can go faster if you like. Yes, the rest of the evil bastards, eh? So we can roll. Oh, right. So that's like Metroid almost. This is curious little game. 
push back to view. Uh, the rest of the evil little bastards are back at the village. I'll lead the way. You can go far. Yeah, we're gonna go faster. Uh, this game's pretty good looking, actually. I'm quite surprised. A little bit sparse on the old environments, but uh, you know the character models are nice. Bearing in mind this is the same generation as the PlayStation 2. Sometimes you forget that when you look at the original Xbox. There it is. Let's oh see God. Uh, I think I am. Oh, you little gobshite. Oh, I've got spit of my own now. There we go. Hard to tell sometimes when these guys are actually down, but that's not too bad. Kind of, I want to say it feels like Halo, but in a way it kind of does. But then, I think a lot of OG Xbox games feel like Halo. I hope you saw that. Is there subtitles that we can turn on? Uh, yeah, enable headphones because that's what we... Ah, subtitles, that actually is. Nice. It's kind of rare for a game like this. This age, anyway. All right, let's go make... You're just supposed to die like the rest of the ugly things in your village. Yeah, I don't think so, pal. There's a new boss in town. All right, okay, who's left? I'm sure there's some more of them left. There he is, hiding. So, wondering if we're gonna get different weapons. Some of them have escaped your wrath, but don't worry, I know where they're going. We're in this together, you and I. I'll lead you to them, and you, well, you can kill them all. Hmm. <laughs> we're a man thing of few words, I guess. All right. You've got yourself a deal. Wanting to play some co-op? Whoa. Even co-op in this game. Yeah, it is pretty bleak. It's a waste sector. One of the most remote outposts. But they've been known to bring prisoners here at times. I don't know if any of your kind are here. Or if any of them were left alive for that matter. But something was in that truck. You never know. Look, yellow squibs. Those will be helpful. They will? Tell me more. Oh, this is a ripper. Now, you have two different oh. <gasps> oh, so we've got Ripper and Spiker. I see. I'll show you a neat trick. Yes, please do. Winged Demon, bestow your knowledge upon me. Yes, we're all for secret knowledge in these parts. I like the map as well. That's cool. Very cool. Very hard to see. If anybody's uh, thinking this game is dark, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's dark for me too. All right, let's go grab these now. How oh shit, me. Uh, I'm guessing there's a lot of weapons. Oh, we can just roll into that stuff. Right, okay, so I guess we can't actually... Oh, no. No, no, no. Two different types of ammo. Okay, yeah, of course. So, blue is this one. I'm with you. So, although the ammo indicator is always the same bar thing, it is different for each weapon. Got ya. Sure is sweet, and so am I. Yellow <laughs> squibs and others you will encounter give you better sight and hearing. Alright, right trigger to charge uh, charge a spiker. Ooh. Oh, so we can zoom. So is that like a sniper rifle? Yes. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that that's quite the savage weapon, actually. Alright. I'm liking your treat, sir. Give me more arcane knowledge. So we can rid this world of these fucking colourful prancing pansies. Can you say pansies? Fuck it. Just, just did. Oh, so there's the truck. Very colourful truck. If we destroy the houses, seems like we should be able to. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to say pansies anymore. Uh, I mean, maybe we can today. Probably can't tomorrow. But fuck that noise. Where's where's my where's my dude gone? Where are you, dude? Where's ah? He's up here. Okay, I see him. Right, well, this game has my interest. I will say that much. 
kind of feel like Predator, actually, in a way. This bear is your friend, Plunger Bear. He fights for cuteness, annihilation, or cutification. It's your choice. Doesn't look like he gave this village much of a choice, though, did, did it? I like the rain effects on the screen there. Very nice indeed. Right, let's roll. Sneak up on this one. Go for the quiet kill. Sometimes a subtle approach works best. Stealth or mode. Alright. Oh. Okay, I like this. Alright, sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm so happy right now. You're so happy right now. I'm about to end your whole career. Ooh, yes. <laughs> oh, the brutality. Yep, I like it. I'm a fan. And we can, like, literally chunkify these people. I like the way we're eating their guts as sustenance. I approve. Alright, well. Let's get some more ammo, I guess. I don't know if we actually need more ammo, but we'll have it. Checkpoint saved. Nice. Health bar looks pretty big as well. So they're talking about some weird flying lizard bug thing that's out and about. Alright. The dead know- oh shit, pushed the wrong button. The dead know only one thing. It's better to be alive. Oh, someone's been watching too much um, Full Metal Jacket. And I approve. Okay. Oh shit, I was going to say, we somehow managed to avoid... Uh, getting into a full blown out war there but obviously I spoke too soon right this gun's really not very accurate we need something a little bit more a little bit faster but with more accuracy a little bit faster than the uh, spiker I don't know the spiker's okay I suppose we'll, we'll keep that equipped for now so oh there's actually spiker ammo so this one we can charge like that and then fire. Or we can just fire it quickly. Alright. And we can zoom in with it. Alright. Now, they're not standard weapons, so this is going to take some getting used to, I guess. We destroy these boxes? I guess so, but the question is, is there any ever anything in these boxes? I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out. Ooh. Find out together. I mean, we're getting box destruction sound effects, but not much is actually happening. Curious. Alright, well, I mean, this... Ooh. Yeah, that, that, uh, that went up. Alright. Delta Squadron taking point. Okay. I guess we alerted some enemies. Alright, that's fine. Ooh, nailed him. Right in the dome. Don't think we quite nailed him as effectively. Right, give me your meat bits. Yeah, okay, so the meat bits actually heal you pretty significantly as well. It's nice to know. Oh, hello. You saw nothing, mate. You saw nothing but your own grisly death. These guys seem to be doing more damage to us now. Now we're past the tutorial, but I guess that makes sense. I can't really see enemies, though. This game is incredibly dark. That's okay. We'll uh, acclimatize to it, I'm sure. I'm guessing these guys are going to start purifying the whole area. Oh, there he is. Just as I suspected, they do have a prisoner just ahead. You free it, and I'll do some more scouting at the main camp further up. Okay. Game's going to introduce some more mechanics. Oh, hey, friend. 
Yeah, dude, can you get out of the way so I can, like, blast these guys? There we go. Right, they don't seem to drop down when they're dead, so you can keep blasting them for ages, which is something we need to be careful of. So we need to give them just enough to knock them down. Alright, you furry freaks. Let's keep going. You and me, bub, although I'm stuck. Appease myself? What the hell are you talking about, dude? You're the one gurgling up your own guts. There we go. Give me your guts, actually. I require sustenance. <laughs> okay, those gibs are pretty satisfying, actually. I don't really see games gib people much these days, which is unfortunate. So that's red, so I'm guessing we can destroy that. Hey, friend. So it's true. You have come. We will achieve great things together. You and I. Um, okay. Forget him. Move on. But why forget him? We have just saved him. Can we suck any of this up? Uh, I guess not. Alright. Forget him. Move on. Alright. Let's keep this murder wagon going. Ooh, yes please. I guess we'll go for some of that. Alright, let's get the spiker cannon out. What the hell is all this? Uh, Alright, I don't think we've missed anything. I don't know if we will really want to be rolling everywhere. Ah. Alright, let's go knife this guy in the back. Come on, you furry bastard. I want to see your boots knock on my blade. Lovely. Who goes there? Who said that? can kind of hear like audio cues all around me, but I can't see them. Are my headphones on the wrong way around? No, they're not. I think that was your imagination, Buttercup. Hopefully we get some kind of night vision mode or something. There's more of them on the other side of that garbage masher. Garbage masher. the generator that powers it. Destroy the generator and join me on the other side. All right. We can do that. Maybe eventually we can get enemies uh, highlighted. Uh... Did we get it? We did, but now nah, that does alert everybody. But then I suppose having this giant, like, Cyclops beam zooming out from the shadows is probably a dead giveaway to be honest oh okay yeah oh we're getting we have like regening health ah they've got enemies down there right let's have you yeah so our health regens which is curious there's plenty of meat giblets around there not many enemies Whoa, dude. Not sure if that's just because we're early in the game. Yeah, so you can hear loads of enemies like all around this place, but you just can't see them. Alright. I think we can hear them from um, other areas. Alright. Apparently we can destroy this. Oh. I think. Yes. Yes, we can. And it's full of meat pieces, apparently. For some reason. Oh! What does that do? So, if we push the black button, we can, like, spit out ammo. Uh, not. Yeah. And it's the ammo that you're carrying. Not sure why we'd want to do that. <clears throat> Maybe the game will explain in due time. Right have this. How do we get down here? How do we get down there to murder these souls? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, guys. You're screwed now. Right, let's go raise some hell. Oh, yes. Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Hey, how are we out of ammo? We're not out of ammo. 
I don't know why the ammo bath just flashed completely empty there. I think that's to do with overheating. Okay, so... What do we have to blow up? Apparently the generator that we need to frag was highlighted up here somewhere. Whoa, we don't want to go into that. Is it around here? Is there anything around here? And like I say, guys, if it's really dark for you, it's dark for me too. Like, um, very, very dark. So, that that's not you. What the fuck are we meant to be destroying here? Alright. We are some weird apre uh, apex? apex predator here, which I do sincerely approve of. Did we shoot these, maybe? Uh... No? Oh, right. We just, uh... You know, walk through it. Yeah, cool. Stand tall, stand proud, look cute. Yeah, let's see how cute you look when we're scraping you off our boot. These guys have got like candy cane. Um, like spears, I guess. Which I approve of. It's pretty gnarly. I'm surprised we can just walk through these. Ah, hey friend. Now, I'm not sure what I think about the stealth option. It's a pretty cool, legitimate option. But going in and murderizing things Halo style is also a lot of fun. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about this darkness, I think. Just because I'm actually struggling to see the enemies, even when they're like right in front of my face. Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe that's just a Titan thing, you know? As possible. Alright, what have we got here? Some kind of combustion engine thing. But that's not what we're here to destroy, apparently. But this we can destroy. So destroy it, we shall. At least this thing doesn't take long to reach uh, to cool down, I guess. Uh we actually, there we go. I was going to say, I'm not 100% sure if we was actually doing anything to that then. And I'm also not 100% sure if there's literally any point in destroying that stuff. Oh, right. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so I guess buildings that we actually have to destroy are very easy to destroy. They only take, like, literally a couple of bullets. All right. Now let's go see that crusher, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have to walk through. Checkpoint saved. Alright, that probably means we're going to have loads more enemies spawned in. Because that's the way these games generally go. Yep. Oh, Christ on a motorbike. Oh, God. Oh, we died. I guess it's a good thing that we did get that checkpoint. Want more? Nah, I'm alright, Chief. Hell yeah, we want more. Right. So, these guys can actually destroy you pretty quickly. Right, let's go uh, and be a little bit more careful. So, we have discovered that... Oh, God. Hello. Yeah, he's down. Oh, he's down too. Yeah, he's definitely down. Now, I don't know if we can release this without actually firing it. Probably not. Oh, hello, friend. Sometimes they take a double tap with this thing, but that's fine. No ammo. Yeah, that thing runs dry pretty quickly, but I guess it is our sniper weapon, so that makes sense. We get enough to raise a little bit of hell. Any more for any more? Yeah, I guess so. Fuck. What do you mean, what is that? I am your death, come for thee. Be nice if we get some of their weapons. I guess that's one way to walk on through to the other side. Just straight through the machine, huh? We've got any more on the horizon? Hey, checkpoint saved. Looks like we're getting some pretty long missions here. Those doors 
lot. If you cause enough trouble down there, they will have to open them in order to send in reinforcements. Sounds like a plan. Alright, I think I can handle that. So. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what that guy said. He said sometimes instead of shooting them, he likes to break the, his foot off in their ass. Mm. Yeah, that was my concern. Collecting that ammo has kind of alerted all of them. You're all out of bubblegum, huh? Well, I mean, it looks like they're, they've got a healthy amount of one-liners stolen from other games. I mean, that's fine. Oh, God. Yeah, not sure how good stealth is going to be in this game. Mainly because I can't see the enemies. Which is does seem to be the biggest problem so far. Alright, give me your souls. Your giblets. Oh, hey, guys. Jesus. Yeah, they're draining us down pretty quickly. Ow, that hurt. Alright, let's have a breather. Get some of that health back. Fuck me. These guys are all over the place. Kind of look like Teletubbies or something. I'm quite happy to slaughter those. I can tell you that. You dead? Damn straight you're dead. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, yep. There's the door opening. Oh, God. It hurts. It hurts. And we're almost out of ammo as well. Did you just say that doesn't sound like a human? Alright, you sure we're done here? So, I don't know about you, dude, but I could really use some more ammo. Ammo is good, yo. Because it looks like our... Oh, hello. I guess there's still a few more. Don't call me a monster. You're the real monster here. Prick. Who invaded who, huh? Huh? I guess that's the end of that one. Hey, victory. I kind of like the, the art style here. It is giving me Abe's Odyssey vibes. It's not quite as vulgar as that, but um, it's definitely something. If you run out of breath, if... Oh. Construction of a government-sponsored luxury condo project, Costa del Cajones, has begun right on schedule. Part of the princess's much-heralded beautification initiative that will bring prosperity to the barren hinterland and hope to the hopeless. What do we need the mortars for? I thought this was a construction project. Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You can't wage a preemptive expansionist war without some incidental collateral damage. Uh -huh. Why didn't you just say that? That's Come some cannon. File, Timmy from Happy Trails says he's glad to be doing his civic duty, but sad to be away from Cutopia. Fucker up, Timmy. You're our homesick doughboy of the day. Mm. Remember, guys, you're bringing these people freedom. Yeah. Timmy's probably belly up in his own guts. Are, but we can use their own weapons against them. I'll mark two nukes. You steal them and use them to destroy the mortars. Nukes. Let me check out the other side of the gates. Uh, yeah, you you had me at nukes. All right, right. Anyway, guys, we're gonna have to end it, end it there because we're on almost forty minutes. Uh, this is a this is an interesting game. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I wasn't quite expecting some kind of high octane shooter. I guess in a, in a third person kind of perspective. I suppose that I was going to say it's not even a cover shooter. This was before cover shooters because Gears of War wouldn't uh, launch until 2006, I believe. And um, man, I remember playing Gears of War for the first time. Holy shit. 
that game turned some heads. And um, yeah, I think that was the first time I actually had my HD TV and I plugged that in. And I, I, I remember I bought that day one, bought it home after work, played that game, and literally I could not believe what I was seeing. Um, I think the last time I had that kind of effect of playing a game was probably God of War on the PS4. That that game was just something else. Yeah, I mean Horizon Zero Dawn is a very good looking game, but God of War, that, that really was a little bit something else. Wasn't it? Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.